Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to your Awakening Flow. If you have something you can use as a strap today, that might come in handy. If you don't have one, don't worry too much. Just come to sit nice and tall and feel your weight into your sitting bones. And just take a moment to close down the eyes and just to soften into your body, into this moment. Take a long breath in. Maybe sigh that breath out. I'm going to release the arms by your sides. As you breathe in, um, left hand in front of right, we reach up, breath in, and open. So some big breaths here. Inhale, and open. And exhale. Take it the other way now. So up. Breath in, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Getting some big breaths in, and exhale. Hands on the knees, into our circles, chest forward. Take your shoulder to the right, arch through the spine, take it to the left. Feeling strong through the belly as well. So we live on the edge of the miraculous. And to awaken to expression is to awaken to possibility. And that's what we are exploring through breath, through our practice, through our bodies. So I really want you to tap into your creativity today. So just release your right foot out in front. We're coming into an open twist, right arm on the inside of your right knee, and just bring your left hand to right hand, and then peel that left arm open. So opening up the chest, taking a big breath in. We'll be opening up hips and shoulders a lot today, and then exhale, bring it back to center. You're going to lean back onto your forearms, lift your right knee, and opening the hip, a slow circle around with the knee. Just take it twice each way. You're moving with your breath. And we'll come back up. Release your left foot out. Tuck your right foot in. Let's bring that left arm on the inside of the left leg. Right hand meets the left. Let's peel open our bow shape here and open up the shoulders. A big breath in. And stay for the breath out. Grow tall, breath in, and release on the breath out. Come back to, onto the elbows, pick up that left knee, a slow big circle around, finding the breath. Beautiful. Then we'll come up, make your way to tabletop, to your hands and your knees. Plant into the hands, knees apart under the hips. Drop the belly, lift the chest, inhale. Into cat, arch through the spine, maybe to fingertips, exhale. And again, inhale, shoulder blades together. And action from the belly as you arch through the spine. Exhale, breath. Let's take it to downward dog, tuck under the toes. And get that tailbone nice and high. You can start to walk it out. Really ground through the hands. As you work your right heel down, bend your left knee. Angle side body looking out and underneath the left armpit. Take it to the other side. Left heel down, right knee bends, looking underneath the right armpit. Just work with that a couple of times. Finding that breath. Back to center, roll forward into plank. Let's spine strong glutes, belly, shoulders back a little here. And then we're lowering to the knees. Untuck the toes and press into the hands, lift the chest, strong belly. We're going to lift the feet, the toes towards the crown of the head. Child's pose, taking it back. 
Press back through the heels. Let's take that again. Come forward. Plant into the hands. Sink the hips. Lift the chest. Strong belly. And lift the toes as if you're trying to touch the crown of the head. And we'll take it back into child's pose. Find downward dog. Find your breath. So looking forward, really pick your knee up nice and high as you step lightly to the top of the mat. Either foot to make it there. Halfway lift, hands to shins, straight spine. And exhale, folding down, exhale, breath. Let's bend into the left knee and bring your right hand to hip. So we come into a little twist. Left hand in the center of the feet. Can you try to start to get your left shoulder towards your left knee here? And just opening into this twist. Exhale back to center. Bending into the right knee, hand between the feet. We can wrap the left hand behind or to hip as we open to the other side. And exhale to center. Let's come all the way up, reaching on up. Up onto the toes, if you wish. Big breath in. And as we come down, left hand in front of right, bend the knees, and then sweep up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's take it the other way. Hands cross up and open. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. We're clearing our aura, if you like. And we're also getting in touch with Shakti, with that creative flow energy as we fold down here. We step back into plank. Come to the knees. Press through the hands. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the toes to the crown of the head. Child's pose. Exhale, breath. And again, come forward. Inhale. And exhale, take it back into your downward dog. Walk it out once or twice here. Just moving in a way that feels good for you in your body at this time. Looking forward, really pick the knee up as you step lightly or spring to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale breath. Folding down, exhale. Sink into your heels, bend the knees. And we're sweeping up the arms into chair. Relax the shoulders and lift the heart and sink into your heels. Find that breath. Rise up, inhale breath, up onto the toes. And then sink into chair once more. Flatten the feet, sink into chair. Breath in, breath out. One more breath into drinking bird as you fold forward the arms come up and over to bind and squeeze the shoulder blades lift the tops of the shoulders away from the ears breathing here one more breath in release the hands down halfway lift inhale breath and fold exhale breath so from here take your right foot back and just come into this runner's lunge. So strengthen up that back leg. Lift the heart. And then let's drop down that right knee. I'm going to sweep up the arms, the hands cross, inhale. And then as you take it back, arms come behind, exhale, breath. Inhale, open up. And let's take it the other way, hands cross, exhale, back. Inhale, open and exhale back. Let's stay here. Fingertips can come down. Maybe roll the shoulders back. You're going to lift the heart, heart towards your big toe. Maybe close the eyes. Maybe even take your hips a little bit from side to side. We don't want to become rigid. We can keep that fluidity in our bodies here. I'm going to come forward, plant the hands, pick up that right knee, and take it back into plank. Let's lower down the knees, 
Press through the hands, lift the heart, toes to the crown of the head. Exhale into child's pose. Take it to downward dog. Breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Step or spring to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breath in. Folding, breath out. So let's take the um, left foot back this time. And pause in your runner's lunge. Inhale. Exhale. That left knee comes down. Cross the hands. Inhale, breath open. And then take it the other way as you take it back, Hanumanasana. Inhale, open. Exhale, take it back. And pause. Breath in. Breath out. Maybe turn inwards, maybe a little bit of movement from side to side in the hips. Keep that chest lifted here. Maybe a little smile. We'll come forward, we'll pick up that back knee. Beautiful, we'll take it just back into plank from here. From here, push forward on the toes. Let's go for a regular chaturanga this time. Elbows close to the sides of the body and into your up dog, breath in, downward dog, exhale breath. From here, just roll forward into plank and come to tabletop, knees apart. We're gonna come to melting heart, so we'll reach the hands away and bring the heart and your third eye down to the mat. Breathing into heart space. Cultivating an even breath in, even breath out. We'll walk in the hands. We'll come up tall onto the knees. For a camel, plant your hands over your kidneys and just Give some love into the kidneys. Make some nice warm circles. Feel that heat from your hands. Bring your elbows in tight. Draw in the belly. Lift the heart. Press the hips forward a little here. So really zipping up your tummy to the navel. Really breathing into the heart. One more breath in. And release, knees are together, just arms alongside the body into Balasana. Allow the shoulders to relax a little here. Beautiful, that's fine. Downward dog, again from here. And again, we come into the top of the mat. If you're gonna spring, bend your knees, bend your elbows, use that core like a spring to get your hips up high and land the feet. Halfway lift, inhale breath. Folding, exhale breath. Rise, inhale. And again, fold, exhale. So let's step the right foot back. And just turn your right foot on an angle, a 45 degree angle where you ground that back foot and bring that left hand on the inside of the left foot. Now you might be on a block here if you need to be. Again, shoulder to knee, okay? And we can peel that right arm up here. So it's an option to stay here. Or can we maybe bind? Maybe this is where we would grab the strap. Left arm under the back of the left leg, reaching for the right hand behind the waist, opening up the chest. So really opening up the hips and the shoulders here. And release. We're gonna find warrior two from here. We're gonna come up and set our warrior two. Just finding softness in the top of the shoulders. Beautiful. So the right hand in front of the left hand, straighten the left leg, reach up, inhale, back into the lunge, exhale. So some flowing movement here. Inhale up, really reach. Exhale, open. Inhale. 
and exhale. Take it the other way. Arms up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Breath. Straighten the left leg. Turn the toes to the right here. And from here, just bring your heels in a little. Okay, if you like, you come up onto the balls of the feet and lift up, and we're going to bend through the knees. Breathing here. Beautiful. Let's bring the arms forward, round through the spine. You can always flatten the feet if that's too much here. Open up the arms. Inhale. Exhale together. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the feet down. Just fold all the way down. Turn in the toes here. You can keep a little bend in the knees as you fold down. Breathing here. Let's bend into the right knee. So into a half skandhasana, left hand to the heart. Turn up your left toes. And then exhale. Take that left arm out. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the hips, hand to heart, like you're threading energy out from the heart. Beautiful. Walk your hands back to your left foot. And we drop down the right knee here. Pausing for a moment here. Find your breath. So that left foot wide, hands on the inside of the left foot. Now let's just open up to the left a little. Draw that left shoulder back. Option for left hand to reach for the right foot. And maybe draw things in a little closer here. Inhale. Exhale, breath. Take one more. And exhale, release. Beautiful. So from here, pick up your right knee. Ground that right foot. Come back into this bind if you can, okay? Shoulder to knee. Now, if you can't bind, you're just going to pause here. But if you can bind, beautiful. We're going to head to Bird of Paradise, perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to step my right foot to my left foot. I want to bring my weight into the right foot, and I'm going to bring this left knee up into the chest, nice and high, and maybe I'm going to extend it out, lift and open the shoulders as well. And then we come back down. Now, don't worry if you didn't quite make it there today. Maybe you were just pausing in this position here, releasing the arms, halfway lift and fold, exhale breath. Step back into plank. Let's come to the knees, press down through the hands, toes maybe to the top of the head, and then back into child's pose. Take a moment, take a breath. Let's come forward, downward dog. Now, you might spring or step, top of the mat, lifting halfway, folding, breath out, rising, inhale, and fold, exhale, breath. So we step the left foot back this time. Let's ground that left foot, right hand on the inside of the right knee, okay? Peel your left arm to the sky. So shoulder to knee here, stay here, or wrap the left arm behind, right arm underneath the left arm to bind, maybe monkey grip with the hands, breathing here. So just wherever you are on your journey today, releasing left arm up and over warrior two, so we want to keep that nice deep lunge into the right knee here. Beautiful. Arms up. Reach. Inhale. And cross it over. Exhale. Breath. Flowing through. Inhale. And exhale. The other way. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Right leg straightens. We're turning the toes to the left here. And from here, come to bind the hands again. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Can bring a little bend to the knees as you fold all the way down here. 
pitching forward through the balls of the feet. Maybe a little bend in the knees. One more breath in. Exhale, release the hands down. Just come halfway. Bend into the left knee, into this half skandhasana, right hand to the heart. Turn up your left toes, right arm out. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Hands on the inside of the right foot. I'm going to drop that left knee down. I'm going to sink the hips low. From here, let your right knee open out, sink the hips. Now you could stay here, or we can bend the left knee. Maybe the strap comes in handy again here as we reach for that left foot with the right hand. And we draw things in a little closer here. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. We're going to release. Pick up the back knee. Again, turn in that back foot. Ground that left foot. Elbow to knee. Uh, shoulder to knee, rather. Now from here, right arm under the back of the right leg. Left arm behind. Maybe to bind here. Now you might just pause here, okay? You might be here. But you're going to step either way, your left foot to your right foot. Now you might just pause like this or wait to your left foot. It's not necessarily as hard as it looks as we come up into your bird of paradise. And maybe we can straighten that right leg here. One more breath in and then exhale. We're coming down and release and fold. Beautiful. Find your plank from here. And we're coming all the way down. You can come down to the knees as you come all the way down to your mat, if you like, here. So let's reach the, out the right arm above the head and just bend your left forearm and bring it in front of the head for a moment here. Beautiful. We're going to lift up the chest, lift your left leg. Actually, we're going to reach back with the left hand. Hold the left foot and come up nice and tall. Now draw in your belly button here. And lift the knee, lift the shoulders a little more. Then exhale, come down, bend this right arm and just hug your left heel into the body. Find a breath. And release. Left arm goes long, right arm by your side. Let's bend the right knee, catch the foot, lift up, press foot into hand, hug in the belly button, come up nice and tall here. Find a smile and a breath. I'm going to bring it down, bring the forearm across and just hug that heel into the body. And release. Child's pose is going to feel really nice from here. And just take it for a moment to child's pose. We'll take it to downward dog. Just take that left leg to the sky. And then bring your left knee to touch the inside of your left wrist. Bring the left foot across the mat. Let's slide the right leg back, walk in the hands, floating hips in a high pigeon here. I want to be up nice and tall and bring everything close together. Stay here or bend that right knee. Right hand can reach back and take a hold. Let's draw it in nice and close. You might stay here. You might be able to find a bind here as well. Take one more tall breath in. And then let's release down to pigeon. Some deeper, longer breaths here. Noticing the hips, the heaviness sinking towards the earth.
will come up onto the hands. Just come over onto your left side and bring your right foot forwards here. Okay? Again, right, hand, right arm on the inside of the right knee. Now, again, we can touch shoulder to knee. If we lean forward, maybe we can wrap it around. Maybe a strap if we need it to bind here. And then we can come to a sitting bird of paradise perhaps here as we lift and open up. One more breath in and then exhale, release. Come into boat pose. We want to pick up the feet, lift it up. So lifting the heart towards the knees, knees towards the heart. Let's just rock and roll it out and come up again and lift and hold. We're going to rock back. This time cross the feet, tuck them under, plant the hands and step or spring back the feet. Now your choice to go through Chaturanga up dog into downward dog will meet in downward dog. Right leg to sky. Right knee inside right wrist. Ankle coming across the mat somewhat. Sliding left leg back. Walking hands in nice and close. Coming up nice and tall. Stay here. Or let's bend the left knee. Left hand reaching back. Take a hold. On the exhale, we can draw it in a little closer. Maybe coming to bind here. So a key here is to really come up nice and tall and bring all the elements nice and close together. Take one more breath in and surrender down. So when we embrace possibility through our breath, through movement, when we embrace creativity and expression. It's a beautiful thing to just feel that effervescence in your body, that lightness in your body. That reminder of just how close to the divine we are. Let's come up onto the hands and let's take it over onto the left um, right side, sorry, and bring that left foot through, okay? So left shoulder to left knee here, okay? You can open up into a twist for a moment, and then maybe if we fold forward, we can take that bind back and around and behind here. Now we could stay here, or we might come into a sitting bird of paradise, and we really want to draw the shoulders back, lift the heart, now, wherever you are on this journey, that's perfect for today. And we'll release. We'll release the feet out here. Beautiful. And from here, just bring the hands over the top of the knees. Just draw in the belly as, with control, you start to make your way all the way back down. Just going to scooch back onto the mat. I'm going to bring the heels in nice and close tuck under the shoulder blades. If you want to go for Dhanurasana, the hands next to the ears, and you lift up into full back bend, perfect, if that's in your practice. Otherwise, just tilt your tailbone up, lifting up the hips. We'll come to bind the hands underneath us. Get the shoulders in nice and close. We'll press down through the heels. So we're toning the shoulders and the upper back as well here as well as strengthening the lower back. Coming back to even breath. One more breath in. And arms release, and we'll bring it down. Perfect. Let's just hold the knees. Give yourself a hug, maybe a gentle rock, if that's needed here.
and then into your happy baby. So we'll take an outside hold on the edges of the feet or just above the ankles or behind the knees, knees wide, drawing knees towards armpits here. Staying with breath. So all of that beautiful shakti flow energy that we've cultivated in our practice, we bring it all to ground at this point. We're earthing, we're grounding here. Each breath out, releasing towards the earth. Life is always going to be a balance between flying and uplifting and grounding and centering. We'll take one more breath in. On the breath out, we'll release the feet down. Let's extend out the legs and let's finish with a simple twist. So bring your right knee into shoulder. Keep left hand on the right knee, reach out the right arm and then let's draw it over to the left. Long spine into a long breath. Softening through the face as well. Breath in, bring it back, and extend out. We'll bring that left side in. Reach out the left arm, take a breath in, and take the knee over to the right. And just decompressing the nervous system and the spine at this point. Breath in, we come back and extend out onto the mat. You can tuck under the shoulder blades, the palms facing up. A long breath in, maybe side out. Bringing softness to all of your edges now. Notice softness in your toes and your fingers. Maybe you can notice some sensations, buzzing or tingling. And softness in your feet, in your hands. Notice your wrists and your ankles, your knees and your elbows. They feel warm and open. Just embracing the freedom that comes with letting go. Allowing longer pauses between your inhale and your exhale now. And that softness is also in your shoulders and your hips. In your belly and your chest. And soft jaw and mouth. Relaxed through the brow. And heavy behind the eyes. Mm. 
and bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly. One more long breath in. Sigh it away. And we can come to rest on one side. You might keep your eyes closed as you come up to sit. Back where we started, sitting tall. Noticing the quality of your awareness at this point. Awakened now to possibility, to our greater potential and expression. You might bring the hands over the heart and a smile in gratitude for arriving at this moment. Thank you and namaste.